Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to DCS, and welcome back to the AH-64B Apache Module. Today we're going to be taking a look at basic weapons employment using the George AI helper system. We're going to be flying from the back seat and our CPG, our co-pilot gunner in the front. We're going to be directing him to targets and showing or showing you guys how to select which uh, weapons to engage with. You can see we've got eight times AGMs. These are AGM 65s on the Apache, as well as two guided rocket pods. We're going to be employing all of those weapons today in combination with our 30 millimeter chain gun, or chin gun on the bottom center station of the Apache. Let's go ahead, hop in the cockpit, and uh, we'll get ready to uh, rock out of here. So here we are in the rear seat of our Apache. There's a couple things that I want to do before we actually get up in the air and uh, get heading towards waypoint three. I'm actually going to move my TSD over to my left display. And then on our right display here, I'm going to select the video cursory. And then I'm going to select TADS. And then I can adjust my zoom level as needed. Adjust my video brightness and that sort of thing. And then I'm going to select TADS again in this upper right hand corner. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a view of what my CPG, my co pilot gunner, is seeing. So I can see what he's aiming at um, in real time. Now, once that's done, we can talk about the George AI helper system. Just set up a few other little bits and bobs not necessarily relevant to the weapon system. So, for the George AI helper system, you're going to need a keybind to bring up the system. Now, I've bound it to the G key on my keyboard, G for George. Obviously, the Apache is a fixed gear aircraft. I don't need landing gear toggle, so G is going to bring up the George menu for me. And you see on my lower right hand screen, or the lower right hand corner of my screen rather, I have this little rosary now. And you can see in the center is gun, unslaved, and burst. And the way that you navigate these are with your uh, WAS and D keys. So I've got a 12 o'clock position, a 3 o'clock position, a 6 o'clock position, and a 9 o'clock position. So your 12 o'clock, as you might have guessed, is going to be the W key. Your 3 o'clock is going to be the D key. Your 6 o'clock is going to be S. And your 9 o'clock is going to be A. Now, if I want to tell my gunner to switch to Hellfires, I'm going to short press the A key to go to the left. Hellfire's up. So I've now got Hellfire selected, and you can see, obviously, I've got Hellfire. If I want to tell him to switch the firing mode, I can short press the D key to the right, and he changes the missile mode. You can see that indication on my upper right. If I want to change the um, flight path of the missile, sorry, I can long press the D key. So that's what all of the outer markers that you might see. Inside is short, outside is long. So if I long press D, it should change. Or maybe I have to be airborne for that. Can I switch those? Nope. So we're going to go over to the rockets. I love rockets. And I've got no external options for that right now. I'm pretty sure for the Hellfires, I would have to actually have a target pre-locked. So we're going to start with Hellfires. We're going to leave George up um, for our flight in. It's a pretty short uh, flight to the uh, range. You see we've got waypoints 1, 2, and then 3 is where our actual targets are going to be. So we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate out here and uh, go and get some targets. I will catch you guys over at waypoint number 3. All right, we are rolling into waypoint three now. You can actually see our uh, area of engagement there. We're gonna roll onto the range and wait till we're clear to engage. But if I wanted to preemptively have George start locking up some targets so I can see a few uh, launchers out there and that sort of thing, so let's go ahead and lock up that uh, track radar out there. So I'm going to go ahead and aim my head cursor at that direction, and I'm going to short press the W key up. Oh, 
and he's slaved over to that area. So now if I go to my tads and I zoom in, you see I have a menu on my lower... Sounds good. Sounds good. We should see some red smoke come up there. There it is. There so now, on the lower left-hand corner of my screen, you see I have some options for different targets. So I've got, and this is why I wanted my tads up, I can select my Sam Launcher. Sam Launcher, and you can see he moves to the different targets. So that's the target that I want. What are we doing here? Oh, we're about to auto-rotate out of the sky. This is definitely best done with Track IR. Um, I don't have Track IR. I've done it in VR. It's great. Um, but for video purposes, VR kind of looks like crap. So we're going to make do with uh, poor pilotage today. So I have my radar targeted to continue to or to confirm that's the target that I want, which I've just done by looking at my TAD screen. I'm going to hit the D key. And he's now lasing that target with Hellfires. So we've got arm on. He's already toggled the master arm safety switch on. He's lasing the target. If I want him to now fire at the target, let's get our aircraft nice and squared. I'm going to press and hold long on the W key. Engaging. And there goes our Hellfire. Have him hold fire. Boom. Target destroyed. That's a dead radar. It's that simple. Let's find something else to kill. Normally you do this at a little bit more of a standoff distance, especially with Hellfire's kind of a pop and shoot situation. Target. So if you do ever want to go back from uh, target, look, let's say I don't want to engage these guys, it's just short tap on the A key, gets rid of that menu, and we'll look into that field of guys over there. And slave it. That would be slave. So a few different targets. Sam launchers. We'll do another radar. Well, that might have been the one we blasted before. We'll have them lock it. Target stored. And long press on the W key. Engage. Roger, engaging. All fires away. Another dead target. All right, cease fire. Roger, cease fire. And we'll go ahead and uh, switch to guns. Let's get uh, our targets here locked up with a gun. And deslaving. Fire. Engaging. Good effects. Good effects. So that's the gun. And now for my uh, being of existence are rockets. I cannot get the rockets to work well for me for anything, but we'll give it a try. And deslaving. Roger, engaging. Hits, they are. Roger, ceasefire. So let's go ahead and uh, touch down in the middle of this hot AO. And then I want to talk about the ranging function on the longbow. It's not something we need to worry about as a pilot, but it is worth just quick touching on. Okay, so let's turn off our HMD, clear the master caution, get rid of that annoying jitter. Guys, please don't buy this uh, HOTAS that I did. So if I go to the weapon page, you can see I have this option 
for range in the lower right hand corner and I've got a manual range of 1500. Um, it's 1500 meters, that's pretty dang far. So, you know, let's say we were engaging targets that were 500 meters away. I'd come over to my um, keypad here, hit enter, manual range 500. I'm not a fan of manual ranging. We've got cool, awesome aircraft that can automatically calculate it. The Apache has a laser range finder. So if I want to select automatic range, I'll go and do the same thing, but instead of typing a number, I'll hit A, and then it should attempt to automatically range. So now you can see on my display here, I've got an A next to my range, and as I aim up, it goes to 50 because I'm aiming up into the sky. Then I go back down and it goes to 0 0.1. But if I were to take off here, it'll get you a little bit better of an idea on uh, how the laser rangefinder works. Zero point one because we're still aiming directly at the ground in front of us. But if I range out to this building here, you can see one point oh, one point one. It's closer the farther or the gets closer the lower we look towards the ground, and uh, farther out we look, the farther it goes. That's just a little look on that. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, just a quick general basics of using the AI George helper to. Uh, deploy your weapons. Definitely a very useful asset if you're a loner like me with no friends to fly this with. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for sitting through it. Thank you guys for watching, supporting all that good stuff. I will catch you in the next video, and as always, take it easy.